Mathematics has long been regarded as the language of the universe, and its influence can be seen in the intricate patterns and structures that permeate the natural world. Among the most captivating mathematical phenomena are the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. These two mathematical concepts are found throughout the nature, from the arrangement of leaves on a plant, in our human body, in many arts and architectures, to the spirals of galaxies. Not just this, the behavior of birds, fish, and even the behavior of sand grains and add to that the behavior of humans have been found somehow linked to this divine ratio. Surprisingly, many people even claim that they use the golden ratio to make money in the stock market. We are going to explore this fascinating topic in this video. So don't go anywhere and keep watching. Let's first understand what actually the golden ratio and Fibonacci sequence is and how they are linked to each other. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers that begins with 0 and 1, with each subsequent number being the sum of the two preceding ones. Thus, the next number in the sequence would be 0 plus 1, that is 1. Then, 1 plus 1 equals to 2 would be the next number. To get the next number, add 1 and 2, and we get 3. Then, 2 plus 3, that is 5, is the next number, and so on. Hence, the following sequence is obtained. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on. This is known as the Fibonacci sequence. Then, what is the golden ratio? Actually, as the numbers in the Fibonacci sequence gets larger, the quotient between each successive pair of Fibonacci numbers approximates 1.618. This proportion is known as the golden ratio and also by other names like golden mean, phi, and divine proportion. For example, let's take two consecutive numbers, 5 and 8, in the sequence. On dividing 8 by 5, we get 1.6, which is very close to the golden ratio. The golden ratio denoted by the Greek letter phi is an irrational number, approximately equal to 1.618033. 98875. Now let's discuss the presence of the golden ratio in nature. One of the most intriguing aspects of the golden ratio lies in its prevalence within the natural world. It manifests in a multitude of forms and configurations frequently appearing in the organizations of living organisms and the structures they give rise to. Below are several examples. Nautilus shells. The spiral patterns observed in the nautilus shells often closely approximate the golden spiral, which is a logarithmic spiral that expands outward while maintaining a constant golden angle. Philotaxis. Philotaxis refers to the study of leaf arrangement on stems or the disposition of seeds in seed heads. Many plants exhibit spiral arrangements where the number of spirals in one direction frequently aligns with Fibonacci numbers. Hurricanes The spiral formation seen in hurricanes and various other natural phenomena frequently display characteristics resembling the golden spiral. Sunflowers The seeds within the central region of a sunflower are organized in spiral patterns with a number of clockwise and counterclockwise spirals typically representing consecutive Fibonacci numbers. The golden ratio has also been identified in numerous human-made artistic and architectural creations owing to our innate aesthetic preference for this ratio. Objects fashioned with this divine proportion in mind tend to be 
more visually appealing to humans. Some well-known works that exemplify this proportion include Khufu's Pyramid in Egypt, Greek sculpture, the Parthenon in Athens, music compositions by Beethoven and Mozart, Leonardo da Vinci's renowned painting, the Mona Lisa. Similarly, instances of golden symmetry are abundantly found in both the plant and animal kingdoms. For example, certain animal horns exhibit equiangular spirals such as those in rams, goats, antelopes and other horned species. Another illustration is the spiral twist in plant tendrils, tree trunks and sunflower seeds. Moreover, shapes characterized by pentagonal symmetry are frequently encountered in nature. Some common examples include water lilies, wild roses, hawthorns, little nails, pears, apples, strawberries, and other flowers with five petals. Friends, do you know that our human body is one of the best examples of the golden ratio? This divine proportion is found at numerous places in our body, even at the cellular level. Interestingly, a person having body as per these ratios is considered more attractive. Let's explore it. The ratio of height to length between navel point to foot. The ratio of length between shoulder line to length of the head. The ratio of length between fingertip to elbow to length between wrist to elbow. Furthermore, a face exhibiting the presence of the golden ratios in the following areas typically appears more aesthetically pleasing compared to other faces. Length of the face to the width of the face. Length between eyebrows to length of the lips. Hairline to end of the nose to end of the nose to chin. Surprisingly, the presence of the golden ratio has also been detected within DNA sequences. For instance, in a complete cycle of the double helix spiral, a DNA molecule measures 34 angstroms in length and 21 angstroms in width. Dividing 34 by 21 yields a result of approximately 1.61904 a value remarkably close to 1.618. Friends, you won't believe that there is some mysterious link between human behavior and the golden ratio. Moreover, even the behavior of flocks of birds, fishes in the deep oceans and the grains of sand have shown relationship with the divine proportion. There are some people in this world who have taken advantage of this hidden knowledge in making money in the stock market. It has been found that the golden ratio can be applied to the repeated patterns of stocks over the depth of time. But how can the behavior of humans be linked to the golden ratio? Does it mean that there is no free will? Does our behavior also follow some rules or fixed patterns? Let's understand this. Despite the fact that humans are rational beings and are free to make their decisions, they unknowingly mirror the irrational behavior which is exhibited by the flocks of birds or fishes in the deep sea. The golden ratio is recognized as a fundamental principle for comparing the proportions of specific behaviors to broader behavioral trends. Hence, human behavior can also be predicted based on this ratio. So, although it may seem that you are completely free to make any decision, but still your choices are in harmony and are bound by the universal laws and its proportions. Thanks for watching. For more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy.